Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my idiot net internet videos. This time we're going to be dealing with Data Slate Hell Brutes. And to be specific, the Mayhem Pack Formation. Now, as you may or may not know, I am a big fan of deep striking in 40k which is why i've started with the mayhem pack formation for hell brutes it's also probably the simplest formation there it consists of three hell brutes there you go there's no restrictions and it gives you the following advantages uh against the special rules it will not die all three of them and it gains the abilities mayhem from the maelstrom which allows all units in the formation to begin the game in reserve and when you only need to make one reserve roll for them they will all come in at the same time yay i thought you'd like that next it has tormented terrors because apparently these hell brutes are more crazy than the average ones and the tormented terror is basically you're going to write roll on the crazed table and once again it will affect all of them instead of just one so what is the crazed table the crazed table is each time a hell brute takes a glancing or penetrating hit but isn't destroyed place the crazed marker by the model at the start of each of your movement phases roll a d3 on the table below if the hell brute has one or more crazed markers on it after rolling remove all crazed markers from the hell brute so you got a little uh, uh, crazy table okay now the difference though is instead of rolling every single time you get a glancing or penetrating hit they get one at the start of every movement phase. They just make a roll. You don't have to wait. It's, and, and that's important because you don't care. They're basically, they're just going to be crazy from the beginning. And then you add, I guess, the other crazies on top of that. And it affects, as I said, all of the hell brutes, not just one. So what, what kind of happens in their crazy phase? Uh, well, if you roll a 1, you get a Fire Frenzy. Uh, the Hell Brute is immobilized until the end of your turn. If unengaged, it must fire all of its weapons twice in the shooting phase. If possible, the target must be a unit that has caused one or more of the glancing or penetrating hits on the Hell Brute in the previous turn. If not, the target must be the nearest visible target. A Hellbrute that is already immobilized does not lose a hull point for rolling this result. Which is an actually an interesting thing. Because if you're getting the crazed from the special rule, mayhem rule, uh, it wasn't caused by any penetrating or glancing hit the previous turn. So I guess you just ignore that part and pick the closest model and shoot at it twice. I'm guessing... Uh, the next you have is Rising Fury. The Hell Brute immediately recovers from Crew Stunned and Crew Shaken results. It has the Rage Special Rule until the end of the turn. That one, obviously, more useful. And finally, Blood Rage. The Hell Brute immediately recovers from any Crew Stunned and Crew Shaken results. It has the Fleet and rage special rules until the end of the turn if this if during this turn's shooting phase the hell brute is not within maximum range charge range of any enemy units it must run as far as possible towards an enemy unit if this is not possible for any reason it may fire its weapons as normal so i guess in that case you just got to keep them out of out of people's range anyways that's the mayhem hell brood data slate i hope you enjoyed we're going on with the next formations next time